Yesterday, marking the sixth time this year, the Lakers overcame a 15-point deficit to win. Only the Clippers have more such games. Now, the Rockets, as you saw, were very frustrated with the officiating, and we're going to deal with that part of the story later because it does involve sort of a, a personal issue they have with one of the officials in the NBA. But let's focus for a minute here, Sean Farnham, on the Lakers and on LeBron. What did you see last night? I just got all activated last night. You know, <laughs> I was just dialed in. I want to bring a new playoff intensity. Look, we're, you said last third. I'm trying to bring my last third effort for you on your show today. Uh, but look, LeBron, we know that he's going to step up his game. We know that he's going to bring the young guys around. I, th I saw the body language and the frustration really early in this contest. We showed you just the disappointment in some of the decision-making. I thought Luke Walton did a great job. They had him wired during the course of the game. And one of the things he talked about in one of the timeouts was, guys, it, our body language isn't good right now. We've got to start competing at both ends of the floor. We've got to start trusting each other. They started trusting each other, and then they got back into the game. David, you've been out there on the floor in some big battles with LeBron James. What are you seeing from him right now and in particular last night? I just think he's uh, he knows the game, and he's going to take himself uh, serious when it's time. He knows how to handle himself. He knows how to, uh, you know, get his team going. Um, you know, he's still the best player in the game and on the floor when he plays. So I don't think he's as frustrated as everybody's leading on. I think LeBron knows how to handle himself. I think he's working himself back in. He knows this first 12 games out of the All-Star break are the most important games of the year. They've got to go – Eight and two in their first ten, ten and uh, ten and two uh, to get themselves resituated. He knows that. Yeah, the second half of that game, LeBron more of a point guard type and had the ball in his hands a lot. Well, what do you think that did to at least get them to the point where they could be competitive in this game and make the comeback that they made? That's when LeBron's at his best initiating the offense. And without Lonzo Ball, that allows him that freedom and that flexibility to do that. As long as Kyle Kuzma scoring on the wing, as long as Ingram scoring on the wing, he cannot be the primary ball handler and the decision maker. So therefore, you don't have to get mad at KCP for not throwing you the ball. Right. Yep. You actually go get the ball and you become the distributor. Right. Well, and, and the thing for me too, when you look at it right now, the Lakers team, okay, so we saw this before the All-Star break though. They beat Boston and then you lose to Atlanta. So fine, you beat the Rockets, great way to start out of the All-Star break, but are you going to be able to be consistent enough to have the type of record that you're talking about? David, do you believe the Lakers will make the playoffs this year? That's been a big topic of conversation. With this win, they're a 500 team. Mm -hmm. Do you believe they make the playoffs in the West? Yes, I think if they play like this, they can, they can make it. As long as LeBron or those other guys are aggressive, um, you know, ignore him sometimes like Ingram did last night. I think people overlooked that part where they just – Say, okay, it's not your turn, it's my turn, go get it. That yeah. helps him particularly later. Now, Jalen, you've been saying no. David's a pretty big guy, so I'd no. like to have an <laughs> argument with him. Between you. I'm not going to have an argument with him, but the reason why I disagree is because they haven't played like a playoff team. When they went to Philly, they got the brakes beat off of them. They got lucky in Boston. Rondo made a game winning shot. You can't lose to Atlanta, who turns around and lose to the Knicks, who are on an 18 game winning streak. And we're going to look at the result from last night's game. They were still down 19 or 20 in that game mm -hmm. at home in Capella's first game returning with James Harden fouling out and still barely found a way to get, it win get that win. So I'm with Sean. I want to see if they can keep this up. All right. So we'll see what they can get done. Again, there's another story in this game. The Rockets very upset with one official in particular. 